Ifram Sheikh's Mashaba, the man behind South Africa's upturn in fortunes, and now the person to shoulder the responsibility for Bafana's AFCON disappointment. Song and dance may have greeted the team's return to Johannesburg, but that did not distract from the key issues. Bafana underwhelmed in Equatorial Guinea, and Mashaba fell well short of his own pre-tournament boast that Bafana would reach the final. There's nowhere a commander will say to his teams, we're going to be massacred. He always says, let's prepare ourselves, let's go and fight, which is what our boys did. I I'm shocked to hear people saying, why did you say this? It, this we, we, we took stock of, mm -hmm. uh, of our football since last. The question of we got to end in position one and three, no. We, we still stick, we wanted to win that cup. It is most unfortunately, things didn't go our way. There is reason to the argument that South Africa is a team on the right track. In the last six months, they have held Nigeria home and away, and also chalked up wins over Mali and held Senegal. And Sheikhs is adamant he's the right man to take the team forward. Our mandate is to give you a team that will fly the South African flag in Russia 2018. I hope you at least share the belief that the team is beginning to emerge. I am sorry again that we did not perform to expectation. We've raised hopes. We've raised expectations. So we are saying to you, there is always next time, next time in everyone's life. But there are still major issues to address. The team created a host of chances, but failed to convert. It is a key area of concern for 1996 AFCON winning striker Phil Massinga but he feels in time, Sheikhs can build a team that can compete on both the Africa and world stages. If you look at our team, the 1996 team, uh, we've been together since from 1992 until 1996, just for good four years. And then uh, that team knew each other. We knew how to complement each other. We, we worked for each other. We were more friends and brothers. We were everything to, uh, to each other. Then, uh, Please, we just have to be lenient on Mr. Mashaba. He deserves a chance. Uh, he has done well by qualifying. I still believe that he deserves a chance. So an Africa Cup of Nations that promised so much for South Africa ends in a whimper. But there's no doubt the team has improved over the last six months. The question now is whether they can take the next step up towards the top table of African football. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.